Hey, 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 awesome friends. This is Holly from Hot Humble Pie. Welcome to my channel if you're new and a big warm hello to my subscribers. I love you guys. Today, I am bringing you a bunch of awesome craft stick DIYs. And as always, I hope you enjoy the show. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you click that button. For this first DIY, I thought it would be fun to make a rustic pine tree, but then I had a better idea. And so I just took a craft stick, I laid it horizontally, and I'm gluing two, or one on either side, a total of two. And I'm gonna go as far up as I can. It kind of naturally starts to gravitate inwards, so you can only go so high before you have to stop. Well, with this project anyway, I have to leave a certain amount of room at the top. And I'm just layering them on top of each other on purpose to kind of create like little layers or folds there, or feathers, or however you wanna think of that. But you can see what I'm doing right there. And I'm just gonna go as far as I can. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and measure a craft stick across the top, but see how I'm drawing it at an angle a little bit? I didn't wanna cut this totally square. I'm kind of rounding out the edges the best I can. There's just a little subtle curve there, see? And I'm just gonna glue that on the top. And I also put a stick at the bottom there to create like a little square opening. You can see it right there. So you just measure and glue a stick behind that as well. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take more craft sticks and glue them all the way across and then go up on each one of those just like I did with the side ones and create those little faux ruffles. For those of you that need to see this a little slower, there is an option on YouTube to change the playback speed on any video. It's like a little flower looking white icon on the bottom right hand corner of your video and you just click on it and that option will come up playback speed and you can adjust it however you need it to be. So next I'm taking the Dollar Tree mop and I showed you how easy those are just to pull out. Thank you to the subscriber who gave me that tip. I don't remember your name, but someone said, oh, you can just pull those out now. You don't need to crack off the black thing. And boy, is that a great tip. So you just gently pull them out and then they come apart in individual little strands. And I'm just going about gluing them on now in different sections because we're creating faux hair here. For those of you that haven't guessed, I am making an angel. So I'm going to go ahead and work with that arch that I created on the craft sticks and kind of glue the hair upwards. You can see it right there how I kind of made it go up softly in more of a U shape at the top of her head. See, I'm patting it down because so I put a little bit of glue on top there just to, so just so it's, all those little strands stay in that shape of more like a head because I didn't want her to have like a square top head. And that's it. That's what we have so far for hair. I think that's so, so cute. So now we're going to go about making some arms and some wings wings for her and a halo. So for the halo, I just use some of the nautical rope from the Dollar Tree and I take my little flame, float it over there to get rid of all the stray little strands and make it nice and clean. And I just glue that on the back. It doesn't go all the way around. It just goes halfway around, but I glue that on the back like this. And then using a little bit more hot glue and a cut craft stick, you can see it right there. I'm just securing the back of the halo like that. And then comes her sleeves, and I decide to glue that little craft stick behind her like that, and then put two craft sticks at the top at an angle, which I go about hiding with her hair. You can see I'm gluing over it right there. I'm gonna glue it on both sides so that you can't see that and secure her hair down that way. I'm also going to give her a little haircut so it's a bit more even, and then come her wings. I was also thinking you could fill in her sleeves if you wanted, that might look kind of cute. I just left it to kind of match the face, but you could do it either way, either way would be cute. And then I'm taking some more craft sticks here and I'm just gonna fan them out. So this is pretty straightforward, I think, and easy to follow. I'm just gluing a bunch of craft sticks together in a fan shape, and I'm gluing two sets of them because those are going to be her wings. Lastly, you're just gonna take a whole bunch of hot glue. Now I am using a wood glue by Surebonder. This is a Surebonder glue gun. It's a really small glue gun with small glue sticks. I have an excellent wood glue, hot wood glue, also for large glue guns in my description. I'll leave both of them in my description box. But you do need a really strong glue, at least a Gorilla Glue for these crafts. And that's it, she's all done. She's a beautiful, primitive, rustic angel. I 
I absolutely love the primitive star looks that kind of are a little wonky. They're not perfect stars. I think they are so, so cute. And I thought it would be so fun to make one out of craft sticks, but not make it just one layer, kind of make it so it's really nice and thick and looks really, you know, good quality. So I'm just starting off with this star formation. See how it's not, it's not perfect. I don't know if you can tell when I turn it certain ways, you can kind of tell it looks almost like a Carl's Jr. star. <laughs> I think that's so cute but I made it that way and I'm just showing you in fast motion here you just glue craft stick after craft stick after craft stick after craft stick you're just building this up to make it a really thick heavy wooden star and that's it that's all you do for this craft and then I'm going to go ahead and decorate it with some patriotic ribbon so both of these ribbons are from Hobby Lobby. I got them 50% off. And I also created a video that goes over every single bow I make pretty much in every video so that I don't have to do many tutorials in each video. That will be down below in my description box. It's also time stamped. So the bows I'm making here are called, are, sorry, are called floral bows. So you can just click on that. It will take you right to that tutorial if you wanna know how I made these bows. And I just made a bigger looped one behind you know, it's a navy blue ticking stripe ribbon. That's bigger loop. Those are bigger loops, longer. And the one on the top is smaller. And then I just tied those together in the center. And now I'm using my craft sticks as a template to wrap red raffia around and around and around. And I'm just gonna tie that really tight with the red raffia, put it in the center of the bows, tie it onto the star and kind of fluff them out. And I think this makes such a cute patriotic star for the 4th of July or even all year round if you want but it was simple enough to do, and it looks so, so good in person. I grabbed this mirror from the candle section at Dollar Tree. I really like this mirror because it doesn't have a frame and I just think that will look better. It does have these little sticky feet on the back and they're easy enough to remove. You just pull them off. And now I'm putting some masking tape on the back so that the craft sticks have something to adhere to a little bit better than just the mirror. Even the back, even though it's not a mirror, it's kind of like shiny. So I just felt like the tape really really helped you could use duct tape you could use whatever kind of tape that's sticky it would work and I'm starting off by taking the smaller craft sticks and I'm just gluing five of them on each one of those bends next I'm going to apply some hot glue on the ends there like that and I'm just going to put some of the larger craft sticks in crisscross formations just to give this a little bit more strength and a little bit of structure there and also it's kind of the place where I loop it through with some twine later to hang it and that works really really well and I also add some duct tape on the back with the twine just so the mirror doesn't fall but Holly Humble is a bumble because as I'm doing this tutorial I reach up to pause my camera and I accidentally hit slow motion so the tutorial here for the next part when it comes up it's you know I had to kind of take screenshots almost like a cartoon where I stop it at each part so that you can see what I did but now I'm gonna glue the craft stick in between each one of those. So after the crisscross in the back to strengthen it, I just take the larger craft stick and I glue it down the center between each one of those little, well, you can see it, those, those little five stick formations. Now I'm just gluing a large craft stick between each one. And here we come to my humble bumble. So see those four sticks right there that I glued on top of the five sticks. Now remember the mirror's turned upside down. So it's on top of the five sticks and I glued them in between each one of the five so that the five is a little wider than the four on, you know, beneath it. And so we have all of those done like I'm showing you with the arrow. And next in between those, I take a large craft stick, I glue it down. And then I take another large craft stick and glue it on top of that craft stick at an angle. So we're going to make a little V on top of that craft stick. So I put the first craft stick down then I put a drop of hot glue on top of that craft stick and put my next large craft stick down and you'll get a nice V formation. I'm going to show you a little bit of the video since this is a tutorial and it's important for you guys to see, but this is what happens when you speed up a slow motion video. You get that weird light strobing and I thought that would drive you guys nuts. So I'm showing you the V formations I made right there with the large craft sticks in between the smaller ones and it came up absolutely stunning. I love this DIY.
great find at the Dollar Tree are these wooden hoops. They don't have any metal hardware on them, so they are great for crafts. And I'm using the larger craft sticks that the Dollar Tree sells. I'm just going to go and glue the craft sticks all the way around. Now, I actually made this DIY for a friend of mine who's having a Hawaiian luau, and she showed me a picture of what she wants. But personally, if I made this DIY for myself, or if you make it, I recommend that you glue the craft sticks on the inside of the large hoop and that you buy two packages of those wooden hoops from the Dollar Tree and then glue a hoop on the top and a hoop on the bottom because the Dollar Tree craft sticks are cheaper and they have imperfections and they're crooked and it just would help if you kind of had that, um, I guess, brace on the top and bottom. It would look more like a lampshade, but it would look totally cute. It could go farmhouse, farmhouse boho, and definitely like an island theme, either way. But again, she showed me what she wanted, so I went with that. And we're short in the back here. The, the big one fit perfectly, but on the tinier hoop, you're gonna need to cut a little craft stick to make it fit in that little area there, but it's totally fine, you don't see it. And here's some raffia that I'm absolutely loving right now. It's a package of three from Amazon in red, green, and like that neutral tan color and you can see the roll is huge on the right hand side and it was like dirt cheap. So I will have that in my description box. It's very strong and flat. I like it because it almost functions more like a really thin ribbon. So here I am gluing them in for, you know, I'm just measuring and gluing it because I'm making a little hanger here. Again, I'm using a really strong glue. Once I get it nice and balanced, I'm just putting a little dot of hot glue there so that that stays together. And I chose to do this part separate because I wanted to measure the raffia to make sure when I glued it up at the top in the hoop there it hung out you know that I didn't want the lamp it hangs a little bit on the inside of the bigger part of the other shade if that makes sense so I just felt more comfortable doing it that way and to secure it I'm gluing the raffia around on the inner part of the wooden hoop and that way it's totally strong and it holds and it, I made five of these like I said so this ended up being so so cute and it was perfect for what she needed For the same friend and the same luau event, we're going to be making this next DIY. So I'm taking two craft sticks and I'm gluing them together and I'm making a set of four of these. So there's four of two, set, you know, a set of two and four of those all together. And then I'm going to start off by gluing it in a long rectangle shape like this. So you take two of them and then you're going to attach them with one craft stick on the top and on the bottom. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take another craft stick and glue it in the middle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and space all of my craft sticks out and position them before I commit and glue them down. And I'm gonna do that on the top half of this and then I'm gonna turn it around like that and do it on the bottom half. Then I flip it over and I don't really want that craft stick on the front to show so I decide to do this crisscross formation to hide the top there so that you can't see where I joined the two, you know, the sides. There were two craft sticks joined together. You can't see where they're joined together with the crisscross shape there. And then using some towering blocks from Dollar Tree, I'm gonna go ahead and glue one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. If you haven't guessed, we're gonna go ahead and make like a little lamp for outside. I also made five of these for her luau so that they could be on each table, but they're super cute for patio decor, front porch, even inside, they came out so cute. You don't have to have the towering blocks. You could just use craft sticks if you want wanted to and then glue you know two of them in a v-shape on either end and then in the seam reinforce it with hot glue and that would also hold this together but I just use the towering blocks because I had them available and you know I need to use them up so now I'm gonna go ahead and take some more of that raffia I'm gonna cut it in three strips tape it to my little table and then braid it so this is what I decide to do to handle the side seams on this little lamp you don't have to do this it's just I'm trying to keep it with the island theme <laughs> <laughs> like a Tahitian type theme, but you could use nautical rope, you could use 
um, the nautical rope comes in different colors. You could just leave it if you want, or you could even fill it in with a little bit of spackling. It's totally up to you how you want to handle the edges there. And of course, you don't have to do anything. I'm just gluing this down as neatly as I can, and that's pretty much it. This makes a super fun family project and a great summer craft. I think it came up so cute. For this next one, you're going to be using the Dollar Tree Larger Craft Sticks. And I made a V at the top, so now I'm using that as a template so I can get the identical shape because you do need them to match. So that's how you go about making sure they match. Just lay it on top and glue the second one on top. And then I'm going to take them apart and I'm going to glue two of the larger craft sticks on either side of those. Once I'm done with that, just like I did with the star that I made, I'm just gonna go ahead and start gluing a bunch of craft sticks on top of each other. I think I made a total of 14 rows, maybe 15, no more than 15. And I, you know, again, this takes a little bit of time, but it's totally worth it. Listen to some good music, turn on your favorite TV show or movie, and totally relax and do this. It's very relaxing to do. Once that's all done, you're gonna have like these little slots in between the sticks. And so I measured it so that, you know, they're very tight fitting too, which is great. So you take the smaller little craft sticks from the Dollar Tree and you measure it so that it's not gonna protrude out on either side and you cram it in the last row in the back and then one in the front row. And then you add a little drop of hot glue just to secure them. And you, while it was still liquidy and hot, I was able to move them around a little bit to make sure they're level because we're going to be making this little shelf level. And I'm using the larger craft sticks now to, you know, I put them down first to see how many I needed to cut, measured, and I'm cutting now what's going to be, I guess, the bottom of the little shelf. So I'm just gonna, you'll see, I'm gonna cut these little craft sticks out and there you go, right there. I'm just gonna use a little tiny bit of hot glue on each of the ledges there and glue those craft sticks down side by side. that's what it looks like when you're all done. So just to reinforce that, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glue underneath in the area that I'm showing you. I'm so glad there's video, you guys. This would be so hard to explain, but it's a good idea to reinforce whenever you can, even though I'm using hot wood glue. I just, this is obviously going to be like a little wall shelf, so there is gonna be something on top of it, so I want to get that extra reinforcement. And I end up thinking the bottom half of this is just a little too empty. I guess there's too much empty space, so I'm putting a little decorative touch at the bottom there by adding some small craft sticks and just making like a little row of stripes I guess this ends up being so cute my son actually put it in his kitchen with his little panda bear salt shaker on it which I thought was so cute but it's perfect for a bathroom if you have a coastal theme again farmhouse boho this is a perfect cute little like sconce shelf This one is a fun craft for the whole family. You just use two of the jumbo craft sticks from Walmart, you get those at Walmart, and I'm cutting out like a little curve so that I cut a little front of a sleigh. We're gonna make a little tiny sleigh and this is great for a mantle, a little floating shelf, a Christmas tree ornament if you make them smaller, but it's just a super fun craft to do when the holidays come and it's super easy. So I just cut my little um, 
I guess they're little blades for the sleigh and I'm sanding that you know where I cut making it nice and smooth and then I'm gonna use five of the large Dollar Tree craft sticks and I'm gonna go ahead and cut those at a little bit of an angle just so they don't look so much like craft sticks I cut them at a little bit of an angle at the top of the sleigh I also give those a quick sand just to make them nice and rounded and now I'm going to cut the little tinier craft sticks down just to use those to hold this together that's what's gonna hold that's what's gonna hold our sleigh together I'm just gluing one on the top and one on the bottom Then you just use a little bit of hot glue to glue your blades down. You can add extra inside the center like I'm doing right there to reinforce it so that they don't go anywhere. But again, if you get the hot wood glue, it's really strong. For this craft, I don't think you need hot wood glue. You could just use regular old hot glue. I think that will hold it just fine if you're not gonna be rough with it. Lastly, I cut one of the I guess they call it large at the Dollar Tree, but compared to the Jumbo, they look small. But I end up using that at the top for the little decorative part of the sleigh, and I also decide to cut those at an angle after the fact, so make sure you do that before. And I'm gonna go ahead and give the blades a quick coat of red acrylic paint by Apple Barrel. Any red paint would work. And then some white chalk paint on the top. That's my homemade chalk paint. If you wanna know that recipe, it will be down below in my description box. And I use a little bit of the Nutmeg by Apple Barrel here just to do a light distressing. Again, super fast and easy and fun for the whole family. So for those of you that follow my channel, you might remember this one from my winter crafts. I just knew that I did a couple of really good craft stick DIYs in previous videos and I wanted to include them because they're worth sharing and this is, you know, a craft stick video. So this is a, I actually started off, I wanted to make a rustic Christmas tree. So I'm doing the same thing that I kind of did with the angel in this one. I'm using it, you know, where I glue the craft sticks upwards with those little layers but we're gonna go ahead instead and kind of make it like a house at the top, you'll see. So I made another V formation with my craft sticks and I'm just gluing it on the top of this little formation. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take the craft sticks and just kind of randomly crisscross them on the back. Now the cool thing with this craft is I easily could have turned this into a you know a windmill because windmills often have those little house tops this can be turned into a barn uh, so oh my gosh they could have even been turned into super tall rustic bird houses if you wanted this was a winter craft so I went with a winter theme but this is a very versatile craft you can absolutely change it up to whatever season you want it to fit you can even make it for all year round and as you can see, I chose to make them in different shapes, like different widths and different heights. And I just go ahead and slap some white paint on again. You can take the white paint, you know, after you're done painting them, you can go ahead and use a wax and stain these to look like wood. You can paint them red and change the wood on the inside to make them a barn. Just go with it and have fun. I go ahead and use a little bit of pine and decorate this whole thing for winter. I do end up taking the houses and gluing two on the back of some scrap wood and then one on the front and I shove some pine down in the center like this. But that could be straw for fall, spring flowers with bird houses for spring, but it's beautiful and it's a great craft stick DIY. This is another great blast from the past and a great easy craft stick DIY. We're just gonna make a little crate and the crate of course is extremely versatile. You again can make it for any season. I did this one for Easter and I put a imagery on the front of it, but all it was was taking craft sticks and some towering blocks and gluing them all together to make this little crate. Again, you don't need the towering blocks. I would just go ahead and cut down craft sticks, glue three or four of them together so it gives you more surface area to work with and use that in place of the towering blocks. 
So I use a glue stick, I glue my image down, but I'm just showing you how I put together the crate here. It ends up being three of the craft sticks, you know, the long way, and you can make this any length you want. I think I made this extra tiny because it was for a tiered tray, but you can just cut it off right where this like circle is so that that doesn't show and then go from there with your measurements. And then I use the jumbo craft sticks, which fit really nicely for the bottom. But again, you can just use as many craft sticks as you need to give it a bottom. And that's it. These little crates always come up so, so cute. <music> This next craft stick DIY, I'm not even sure I need to explain it. You can kind of see what I'm doing, but these little pieces of wood, when they are cut in different shapes, make fantastic signs for mini decor, for tier trays, floating shelves, Christmas ornaments. They are fun for your kids, grandkids, or even if you just want to have some fun, totally easy to do. <laughs> Another great craft stick DIY. You just take four of the craft sticks and you're gonna use one to hold them all together on the bottom. And then I cut the top into a little house shape. Now, just nibble away at your scissors. Don't cut long and hard because you might crack them. You still might crack them this way, but they won't be severe enough to ruin your craft. And of course, I'm just cleaning up the edges and the bottom. And then I'm gonna give it a nice little light sand and add another brace at the top to reinforce everything and hold it together together. Next I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue and add the jumbo craft sticks that I cut to fit on either side of this. And if you haven't guessed, we're making like a little house. Again, this could be a barn, this could be a birdhouse. It's like a little window box and it's a totally fun and easy craft to do with craft sticks. You just need some good quality hot glue. I do recommend hot glue for these kinds of craft stick DIYs because there's a lot of intricate little pieces that need an instant hold. And of course, you reinforce everything on on the back. So I made this for an Easter craft. I have a little bunny in it. I put a little bit of moss. I give it a coat of white paint. But again, it could be a nativity scene at Christmas. It could be a fall scene, a nautical scene, a honeybee scene, lemon scene, whatever you want. Just sky's the limit. Use your imagination and have fun. For this craft stick DIY, you're gonna need a soft, round, cylinder-shaped container. Oatmeal containers are perfect for this. You do need a container you can cut, though, for this DIY. And I ended up using some folded paper. It made a nice, thicker template so that I could trace an even circle all the way around. See how I'm just kind of spinning my oatmeal container and tracing? That kept the line nice and even, so it met on the other end. And then I cut my oatmeal container in half. Next, I took a bunch of craft sticks and taped them really tightly together and cut them so that I didn't have to cut one at a time. And it actually prevented all of them from splintering. That was a great hack. And then I took a little bit of sandpaper, gave it a light sand while they were still taped together. And I go ahead and start gluing these all over the oatmeal container. They also sell little round cylinder shaped like gift boxes near the gift section in the Dollar Tree. You could also use one of those. Now I made two of them and I ended up changing my mind, but this is the part of the DIY that you need to watch. I use sisal rope, you can use nautical rope, you can use twine, you can use whatever you want. I go ahead and glue it around and then I cut it in half and that way you get a nice even result so that your rope matches, I guess, on either side. So I just took that, glued it down on some scrap wood, added some more little rope for a handle. If you wanted to make this completely out of craft sticks, you could use the jumbo craft sticks from Walmart for the back scrap wood that I'm using. Just glue them all together using a brace behind them. But this makes a totally cute craft stick DIY. These craft stick DIYs were so much fun to make. If you enjoyed the video today and had fun, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And as always, until the next one, breathe deep, fret not, and do things that make you happy.